Hello. I'm Sweli. I'm Ruben. And this is the podcast. All the things you're interested in. Welcome. Welcome to our third episode. What's the topic today, Ruben? It's a very interesting topic. It's generation gap. Ooh, are you interested in this? Stick with us till the end of this video and see what we're going to share here with you today. By the way, remember hitting the like so that you don't forget. And that helps a lot. Okay, Srini, let's start with the first things first. Well, a generation gap is for you. Okay, generation gap. A generation gap is a space of time between one generation and another. So, for example, uh, at the generation before mine, there were, for the generation before mine, there were a set of values, behaviors, uh, moral, and then there was a space in time between those and the ones we have nowadays, which things were somehow, you know, messed. <laughs> and then this is the generation gap. In a generation and in the other, people behave and have the same values or they tend to have similar values and behaviors. But in this between is where the problem <laughs> lives, let's say like that. Yes, I think it's international uh, topic. It's very common to everybody. So let's go immediately to the next question so we can connect the introduction of generation gap. So have you ever felt a generation gap with your friends, Sully? Yes, I had. I think I'm an old person. <laughs> I think I related more with the values and behaviors of the generation before mine. So I like being home. I'm not much of a party person. I like and understand that respect is something really important. So with friends at school, for example, the, the, the generation gap I saw and felt the most was with uh, the way some of them treat teachers in a dis disrespectful way. And I actually can't stand that, not just because I'm a teacher, but because uh, my values are that. Teachers are meant to be respected. Mm -hmm. I agree with you, Sully. So uh, the next question is, what could be some problems with the partnership or marriage of a different generation? If you don't reason, yeah. if you do not listen to the question, I will repeat. What could be some problems with a partnership or marriage of a different generation? Yeah, I think the problem here would be the same we already face in our other relationships, right? Regarding to behaviors and values and morals. So, uh, for example, uh, partnership at work. Uh, some of the old generations, they were using to, for example, close a deal just uh, with their words, right? Looking in the eyes, shaking the hands and giving their words, which were uh, enough. And nowadays, everything has to be in papers and registers in uh, by the law so that people will respect it. And uh, sometimes it can be something that can cause some problems because uh, the older ones tend to value the words more than the their word more than the than the the younger one do ones do uh, and that's something related to this generation gap and in marriage oh gosh 
to live with someone with values and behaviors too different from yours, to say the less, <laughs> we can say that it is a challenge. I think about the marriage and the pharmacy if someone has beliefs that is stuck to the past, it's going to be a difficult relationship. Yeah, one example we can, we can use is, uh, for example, about to be exclusive or not to be exclusive in a, in a, in a marriage or in a, in a romantic relationship. For the old generations, to be exclusive was the, the rule. Nowadays, it seems, it's not something I relate to, but it seems to be the, the exception, right? So people tend to, for relation, open relation nowadays. So as an example, and you, you watching, please let your comment and let us know what do you think about it? Let's interact with it. So the next question is, do you think you can be a better parent than your own parents in the future? I think it's kind of difficult question. Yes, it is. Uh, I am a, pa a parent already, and I don't think I am or I will be better than mine. Uh, I will be different because uh, even though I have some values that were passed to me by them, uh, from them, I have mine, my own values, I develop a log of my life. And for example, uh, hitting and yelling was something natural and okay in older generations and that's not okay for me. So I don't hit my son, I don't yell to him. And I think it's it's the best way I will do the things, I do the things and I will keep doing. And I think I also believe my parents did the things the way they believe were the best accordingly to the values they had back then. Recently, I have heard from a psychologist that he said that if a child was beaten up by his parents, just like you say, it's sure that in the future we'll have psychological issues. So nowadays we are aware of that. So there is no excuse for keeping make the same mistakes. It's not, nowadays it's not something about values anymore. It's something about the best and scientifically proved, right? So some people think it's okay to marry a much older man, but not a much older woman. Do you agree? It's a taboo question. Yeah, I think so. I don't think it's about age. I think it's about love and respect and share, of course. So, um, and also there is a thing about generation gap in this question because uh, people accept more that uh, a man can marry a young woman woman, but I, uh, an older woman cannot marry a younger man or if the difference is too big. So there is something also related to generation different values. Uh, but I really don't think it's something about age. I think it's something about loving, caring, respecting and sharing. That's the way to make uh, things work. I agree and I think it's silly. It's very simple. So, thank you very much, everyone. We are going to see you again in the next video. This is something really interesting to discuss, isn't it? Sorry. Yes, yes, yes. The generation gap is a topic that is really in trends right now. And it, it was always something we had to deal with, even when we did we had no idea was about what is 
it or what it was about. So uh, it's always worth talking and raising awareness about it. That's it. And if you like video, subscribe to the channel, get notified below, down below. And first of all, enjoy your English learning journey because you need to practice your listening skills. Yes. We will see you at the next episode of everything you're interested in. Thank That's you. it. Bye Thank bye. you. We'll see.